Hello everyone. Hope you are doing fine. Welcome to Indian Farming Tips, your agricultural and livestock guide. Here we discuss about the problems and prospects of small farmers of our country as well as other countries. Unlike the big organized farmers, the issues of the small farmers are different. They face certain problems which are more or less similar in every country. Although the small farmers have got certain advantages and they are regarded as the real backbone of the agricultural economy, they face problems related to scale, limited finance and other resources, lack of manpower, small land holdings and so on and so forth. And the mission of this channel is to find the best possible solutions to the difficulties the small farmers face. So, please subscribe to this channel so that it can bring to you several solutions in the form of useful videos for you. Today, we are going to discuss a very significant aspect of farmers' productivity. We will try to know what is the best way of growing plants and vegetables, whether greenhouses are effective or not. More importantly, we'll be trying to know how important the greenhouses are. Yes, greenhouses are important. In fact, they are very important for any kind of farmer, be it big or small farmer. If they want to increase the productivity and if they want to go for commercial cropping and make profits, then greenhouse farming is inevitable. Let us understand what greenhouse farming is. Greenhouse farming is a particular practice of growing crops within sheltered structures which are covered by transparent or partially transparent material. The main purpose of greenhouse is to provide suitable growing environment and to protect crops from adverse weather and also from various pets. Crops production, as you know, is a challenging activity. Weather and climate conditions play an important role in determining the pace of crop production. Since the crops are constantly exposed to unfavorable weather conditions, in the event of certain extreme situations, the weather creates havoc. Greenhouses are meant to act against such situations. So, the most powerful advantage of greenhouse farming is that it enables effective management of crops and reduces risk caused by uh, the harsh weather conditions. It means greenhouse farming optimizes growing conditions and protects the crops from extreme weather events. Moreover, greenhouse farming extends the growing season or even allow the farmers to grow the crops beyond the typical season. Some greenhouses are having managed heating and cooling systems. Greenhouses that are additionally equipped with such mechanism offer possibility to take control of the whole cropping pattern, which leads to faster growth and higher yield. However, we are not covering such systems as they involve huge amount of investment. Let us concentrate on the system which is affordable, manageable and achievable. Greenhouse farming is more appropriate for smaller surface. This uh, could be one of the disadvantages of greenhouse. For this reason, it is limited to production of vegetables, flowers, herbs, and small fruits. People talk about another disadvantage of greenhouse, that is the lack of pollination. Now, having discussed about the disadvantages and, of course, the advantages of greenhouse, one may ask, is greenhouse worth it? If you are even asking the question to yourself, 
The answer is yes, greenhouse is worth it. A greenhouse provides you with an environment where you can grow plants and vegetables throughout the year. Despite some investment of money, the result of labor make it worth it. Let us examine another situation. There are some small farmers amongst us who are involved in livestock and poultry farming. In such cases, the birds and animals target the crops easily. The crops are the easy prey for them. Ultimately, your productivity will, hampered, will be hampered. It may happen that your crops cannot grow because of these people. So you need to have certain shelter which can protect the crops. So if you're thinking of a shelter, it's better to go for greenhouse itself. And if you are thinking about the monetary issues involved in uh, making a greenhouse, don't worry. I will show you how to build a greenhouse with a very limited resource. But before starting greenhouse farming, you have to consider the uh, points certain points to become successful in greenhouse farming. One of the most important steps is to select what you want to grow. Some people suggest for sticking with a single crop which you can put all your efforts rather than an assortment of plants that may have different needs in terms of water, fertilization, and seed. Then you should realistically try to evaluate the volume of your space and the time duration to grow. From there, estimate plant production cost in relation to market prices to determine your profit margin. So far as the crop selection is concerned, if you are just starting out, it is best to begin with something that will set you up for success. I'll tell you some examples. Number one, tomato. The most common greenhouse crop. Second could be lettuce. This is relatively easy to grow and is most profitable one. And you can think of cucumbers. The versatility of cucumbers make it popular crops. You can think of that too. Spinach. This is another leafy green vegetable which is greenhouse friendly. You can think of some herbs also. It is easy to start your start your growing and uh, selling business. You can think of strawberries also. There are many other uh, items like peppers, cabbages, broccoli, which are very suitable for greenhouse farming. Greenhouse farming is often criticized for being an expensive farm practice. However, the cost of greenhouse construction and maintenance depends exclusively on the type of greenhouse structure and farm management technology being used. As you know, the purpose of this channel is to find solution for the small farmers. We suggest modest type of greenhouse structures that are much more affordable for small holders and family members. So, we encourage you to go for very, very low-cost greenhouse. I personally tried to find options for making a model greenhouse with bamboo. The purpose of this is to show uh, that you can develop similar structure for developing greenhouse with extremely low investment. I have tried to explore the internet and YouTube for such idea but I could not find any 
video on it. Two, three videos were there, but I was not at all happy with these ideas. I'll tell you how to make a low-cost bamboo structured greenhouse with the help of two persons and complete it in one single day in my next video. But have you subscribed to my channel? Please do subscribe to the channel and share the videos with your friends, relatives and others. Please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever any useful videos are added to you. I prepare videos for your benefit only. Thank you. Thanks a lot.